Hi folks, uh, this is 51 Badger Road in Hyde Park. This is a, uh, uh, a four bedroom, two full bath cape. Uh, it's a dormered cape, it was built in 1950. Uh, this is a typical house in this neighborhood. We have a, a bunch of capes lining this side of the street. Uh, and actually mostly capes on this street uh, entirely. Uh, Badger Road is a one way street coming down from this way here. We'll pan left. Uh, just uh, behind that uh, that pickup truck, you'll see the back of a house there. That's 16 Cranmore Road. Uh, I sold that house back in 2000, late 2009. That sold for 319.5. That's a three bedroom uh, cape right over there. Uh, and then we'll pan right here. One, two, three. The fourth house on the left there is a white cape. That's uh, 35 Badger Road. And that house sold for uh, 325 in late 2008. Uh, I sold that house as well. So let's go in and let's go take a look at this uh, at this property here. Uh, we're going to go in the side door because that's the door that I use most of the time I come in to the property. And it's also the uh, door that you'll probably use. This is the last remnants, I'm hoping, of snow for the season. We had some snow here yesterday, which was April Fool's Day, and today is April 2nd. So this is an addition that we're walking into. This uh, addition was put on some years ago. I don't have the exact date. Uh, the, the owners uh, sort of used this as their dining area. And I guess we'll just go walk over to the other part of the addition here. And they use this as sort of like a TV room or whatever. You know, you could use it however you'd like. And uh, it looks out into the backyard and there's a little deck and uh, backyard uh, back here. It's a little over a 5,000 square foot lot, just to give you a heads up. And you have a little breakfast uh, nook here. Probably put uh, two uh, stools over here. Um, so let's go walk into the kitchen. And... Uh, the kitchen was probably done. I'm just going to assume that it was done sometime in the 80s, I would say, just to uh, put a date on it. It is in good shape. Uh, the house needs, uh, the house do, the house does need a little bit of updating. It needs some painting. Oh, um, the, we're going to go into the bedroom here. Uh, and uh, this is the bedroom right off the kitchen, okay? So the house needs some you know, updating, and that's about it. Some painting, uh, the floors could use some refinishing, carpets replaced, stuff like that, but it's probably something that the new owner's gonna wanna do, so the current owner hasn't uh, touched it. So we'll go here uh, through the hallway to the right, and we'll go to the first bathroom, okay? Um, as you can see, it was probably done, again, in the 80s, I would say. These folks are great folks who own the house. They've lived here for many years they raised their kids here uh, and it's just time for them to move on so uh, this is a cape so in a cape you'll have bedrooms on the first floor okay so we're on the rear left hand side of the house and this is uh, again these floors need refinishing so that's something that uh, the new owner can do um, before they move their furniture probably the best uh, probably best to move it in before the furniture comes in so um, so this is the bedroom to the rear left of the house that we just looked at. And now we'll go right here into the living room, okay? This, this is carpeted as was the other uh, first bedroom that we saw there. And there are hardwood floors underneath the carpets here, okay? So, you know, when you're refinishing that back left uh, bedroom, you can go ahead and rip these carpets up and put your own uh, finishes on the uh, hardwood floors in this living room as well, okay? And this is your front door here. All right, so we're going to go uh, head upstairs, take a look, see what we got. And we'll start, we'll go right to the right-hand side of the house as you're looking at it from the front. And this is one of the, the bedrooms upstairs. It's a dormered cape, and that's uh, what you'll see over there. You'll see some built-in shelving and some built-in uh, drawers. And your closet is right behind that door there, okay? So this is one of the bedrooms on the second level, okay? And now we'll go through the hallway, and we'll go into this second bathroom, okay? Again, looks like it done, uh, was done in the 80s. Uh, Stand-up shower, okay? 
go. All right. There's your vanity. And some storage, a linen closet in this bathroom. All right, so now as uh, if you were looking at this house from the front of the property, you would, this would be on the left-hand side, okay? It's a, basically a mirror of the other um, bedroom we saw. Okay, same uh, built-in drawers in this, in this bedroom here. Plenty of closet space, ton of closet space. All right, so let's head down to the basement. And uh, we'll take a look at the, the systems. It's a little dark down there, but we'll do uh, what we can. Open up this door here. Okay. So, this uh, basement was finished probably when the house was built. It's got knotty pine walls down here. Yeah, I know you can't probably see it, and there's a lot of stuff still in the house. It'll all be cleared out. Uh, it's got a little bar. Uh, in the basement here as well. I know you really, again, can't see it, but there's uh, circuit breakers. Uh, 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 circuit breakers in the electrical system here. Okay, and back here, this is your uh, exit to the bulkhead. Again, I know that uh, it's not very easy to see. That's Larry Bird. All right, we all love Larry Bird. And this is, uh, again, I apologize, all this stuff needs to get out of here and it will uh, sooner than later I hope so um, this is your heating system it's a Burnham and it's a gas uh, gas heating system and behind that is the hot water tank okay and that's gas as well so uh, that's it we're gonna finish up this uh, and there's I'm sorry there's your water meter all right so we're gonna finish